The biggest challenge in any kitchen is the difference between making money and finding a balance with the efficiency. It's extremely stressful for the chefs and we're always trying to push them harder and harder. I'm Alan Kinsella, Irish born, and I've been working in 13 to 14 countries around the world, 30 years experience in the restaurant and hotel trade. The best way to describe flow is the efficiency of a kitchen. We need to make sure that the chefs are working in an environment where they can flow through the kitchen with ease. So in this experiment, what I want to do is I want to go in and see what the issues are. I want to see why it's not efficient enough and to see if we can turn it around to make it profitable and stress-free. The first thing I see is when I walk in, big dirty bin in the way. And what about the paper, Manuel? There's no paper here either. There's nothing working. It doesn't work. It's how many hours am I wasting trying to wash my hands? It's a simple, simple task that has been made more difficult because the flow is all wrong. It's nothing to do with the kitchen. Why is this here? It's just unorganized. It's just not the way it should be. We have to fix this. We, we have to fix the flow of this. It's, what we've seen this morning is not working. Uh, we need to go to talk to Pontus now and to sort it out. He needs to get his act together so we can get this working now. So Pontus, there's a few things here that I've been walking around. Unfortunately, in the kitchen, there's a lot of red flags. You know the rule, glass in kitchen. Oh yes. If that glass falls, everything has to be thrown away in the vicinity. That's new now. Yeah. That's a health and safety hazard. How hard is it to find chefs nowadays? One chef slips out for a week, two weeks. Yeah. We can't replace them. We never have paper and we never have soap and we all get to take it off on our clothes. Okay, let's see what we've got here. And we have a dispenser that the chef is spending way too much time on. He's obviously irritated. Chef in the fridge, he's obviously standing here trying to move things around to find his way to get whatever he wants. Now we have another chef washing his hands, again using his apron to dry. I can see from the sinks that he didn't, there's no products there to, to wash, to, to have soap, to have towels. They're not working in an effective manner. It's very clear from the video that something needs to be done. So I think we need to take action now. We're gonna clean all the walls. We're gonna clean all the benches. We're gonna scrub the floor. We're gonna make sure that everything in this kitchen is effective. Does it sound good? Yeah. Sounds perfect? Yeah. Let's do it, come on. The first thing we do when we go into an efficient kitchen is to clean it from top to bottom, from roof to floor, everywhere. We make sure that the chefs have not only a clean environment, but we also address themselves so they feel pride in what they do. We give them the tools and we give them the resources. And that all goes into one thing, efficiency. That looks really? super. Okay, so the team has just left, and first impressions, kitchen looks fantastic. Everything at first glance is clean. We have everything in order. We've taken away all the clutter from today. You could see so much stuff. It was almost intrusive. We have a new uh, paper dispenser. It actually moves with, with everybody, and it's single dispensing. Outstanding, very good. It's as simple as soap, wash the hands, one unit, done, start the job again. It's less than 10 seconds. It just looks great. Everything just looks like it should be where it is. It's in order. As you can see, brand new day, brand new kitchen. We gave you the tools and the resources to keep this kitchen clean. I can see a massive difference in the kitchen. If we just look over at Pontus, he has a very clear station. If they want to wash the hands, they have four stations. It's wash, dry, go. It's actually two less chefs today, and it doesn't, I couldn't tell. And it's more busier today than it was yesterday. So now you're making me more money. Yes. Outstanding. That's the way to do it, yeah. you know? And they look beautiful. Don't they? They look fantastic. Yeah. This, for me, should be in every restaurant, because at the end of the day, it's a stressful environment. We want to make it stress-free as much as we can for them, but we also have to make money, so we have to find the balance. We are two chefs down 
which is equivalent to 16 hours a day, maybe more, because it's a busy day. The chefs are unstressed. They haven't called anybody in because the flow and the efficiency has increased.